Hello, my name is Mary and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a magic ring, also known as the magic circle, with a super detailed explanation. So hopefully if you're just learning or haven't stuck on the magic ring for a while, this tutorial will be the one that helped everything click in place. The magic circle is a way to start off a lot of circular projects for crochet and is especially useful to know for amigurumi or making stuffed animals like these. In this tutorial, I'm using a 7mm crochet hook and a number 6 super bulky yarn, but this method works for any type of yarn or crochet hook so you can use whatever you have to practice with and let's get started. So to get started, we're going to be using both of our hands to make the magic circle. I am right handed so I'm going to be using the right hand to hold the hook and the left hand to hold the yarn. But before we even get started with that, we're going to have to set up the yarn on our left hand. So take your strand of yarn with your right hand and we're going to be pinching it in between the thumb and the pointer finger of the left hand. That's how we hold it in place. So grab that yarn, pinch it in between those two fingers and it should look like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our pointer and middle finger together on our left hand and bring the yarn across both of them on top. So it should be going in a diagonal where the yarn is going upwards, almost going over the knuckle of our middle finger. And after it is across, we're going to wrap that yarn all the way around the fingers, going underneath the pointer and the middle finger, just like that. So now it's wrapped all the way around. We're going to again bring that yarn across on top of the pointer and the middle finger. But this time, instead of going upwards, we're going to be going downwards. And what this does is it forms an X. So now we're going to pinch that X in place by using our ring finger to hold it against the middle finger. So now we have an X that's held in place on our left hand. Now we can grab our crochet hook with our right hand and we are going to have it facing upwards. So you see that hooked part on the hook. We're gonna have that facing upwards. So we'll bring that hook in between the pointer and the middle finger of our left hand and underneath that X that we made. Then. After that, we're going to turn the hook 90 degrees towards our middle finger. And then we're going to take the hooked part of our hook and move it upwards until it is over that lower strand of yarn of our X over the middle finger. So see the strand of yarn that makes a lower half of the X on our middle finger? So after we bring our hook to that first lower strand of yarn, we're going to tilt our hook again in the same direction that we were going earlier, another 90 degrees. So now it's facing downwards and it's over that yarn. So we're going to bring that strand of yarn using our hook. We're going to pull it underneath the X. So pull it underneath the X just like that. We should be exiting on the top half of the X kind of in between the two fingers. So now we're going to turn our hook 90 degrees again in the same direction, this time towards the pointer finger or towards yourself. So as you can see, we're starting to form a loop on the hook. So again, we're going to turn it another 90 degrees until the hook is facing upwards again. And this time we're going to go over the X. Now we're going to place our hook between the two strands of yarn on our middle finger. And again, we're going to go under that lower strand of yarn. So you can tilt the hook a little bit towards the yarn so it's easier to go underneath that yarn. And once you're underneath it, the yarn is over the hook. Use the hook to pull that lower strand of yarn through the loop on your hook. So remember that loop that we made earlier? This time we're going to pull that lower strand of yarn through that loop. And once it is pulled through, you are done with your magic circle. So if it's done correctly, when you pull on the yarn end, you should be able to tighten the magic circle. And when you pull on the working yarn, it should tighten the loop on the hook. It definitely takes a bit of practice, but over time the magic circle or magic ring will become like muscle memory. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. I really hope this was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much, and I'll see you next time.